Well, many of us spent the past year working from home in the pandemic and for pet owners, it's likely your dog or cat has gotten used to being with you 24 seven. But if you're planning to return to the office, now is the time to prepare your pet. News 12's Christine Insinga has more on how to ease that separation. We got Rosie about five days before COVID hit, like the world shut down. And then we got Alvin in November of 2020. Jen Saylor of Roslyn says the whole family had been home with their pups for months. It's hard because the world is opening back up and I'm going shopping more and, you know, meeting, you know, friends more. Saylor says both puppies started suffering terrible anxiety and acting out. So when we leave them alone, we were leaving them on the first floor of our house and they started to eat the moldings on um, all the corners. This is Lola. We try to keep um, exposing her to her independence and not being with us 24 seven. She just cries when we leave. You can see that she really doesn't want you to leave her at all. And the doctors say it's really important to start to take steps with your pets to help ease their anxiety. Dogs like people are, are creatures of routine and their routine has been that everybody's been around. <laughs> Dr. Margaret Fordham and other Long Island University veterinary experts today say there are ways to ease their anxiety. She says you should start by leaving your pet home alone for short amounts of time, then lengthen that time period in small increments. First, however, Fordham says it's important for your pet to be in a happy state of mind before you leave or give them something to distract them. You can um, hide toys and balls and things like that so that they're occupied with licking peanut butter out of a Kong or having one of these toys that drops food as long as they push it. And that way their brain is occupied doing something fun. The owners say they're doing what they can, but admit, like most things during this time, it's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> Christina Nsinga, News 12 Long Island. And Dr. Fordham says you should take some time to ease your pet into the transition.